Hello dear friends, this is Ewell Humphreys. Glad to be with you again and share a word with you. May the Lord bless you and may the hand of the Lord be upon you today to give you a good day. I'm speaking to you on the subject, be holy and be happy. Be holy and be happy. Uh, holiness is the way to happiness. The Bible teaches this truth in the in the Bible, we we'll read a scripture over in Nehemiah, in the eighth chapter, verse ten, and it's a great scripture. The Bible says, "And he said unto them, Go your way, and eat the fat and drink the sweet." In other words, enjoy what you have. Eat the fat and drink the sweet, and then carry a portion to those that have nothing. And this day is holy to the Lord. Neither be sorry, neither be sorrowful, for the joy of the Lord is your strength. Now here's something that we need to see, and that is that God will bless it, amen, to your heart. And that is the fact that we need to realize how to live the Christian life and be happy in living it. Be holy and be happy. Number one, Enjoy your life, dear Christian. You're saved by grace. You're born again. You belong to God. You're on your way to heaven. There's nothing now down here that's going to stop you. You're all going to find a way because Jesus Christ is your way. And he will win every time. So give him time. And let him work things out in your life. He is working right now in you. He is saying to you, be of good cheer. It's me. Do not be afraid. The Bible says, Eat the fat and drink the sweet. Learn to enjoy what you have. What you have is, is something that God has given. So enjoy what you have. Enjoy your meals. Enjoy your family. Enjoy your home. Enjoy your job. Enjoy your days that you live each day. Enjoy your friends. Enjoy the Bible. Most of all, enjoy your Lord that loves you. And so eat the fat and drink the sweet, and then uh, enjoy, and God will bless it. And in that joy you'll find, you'll find peace. You'll find the peace that passes understanding. Over in the book of, uh, of uh, uh, Isaiah, in the 26th chapter, verse 3, it says, uh, Amen. He will give him perfect peace whose mind is stayed on the Lord. He will give you perfect peace when your mind is stayed on the Lord. And so and you, have, you have the power of peace in, in the power of being happy. And I pray God that you have the peace of God in your heart right now. That you know that all is well. And that, oh, praise God, your sins are forgiven. They are nailed to the cross. You belong now to a God who has saved you and brought you back and has bought your soul and is leading you to heaven. Learn then to please Him. Learn, oh, praise God, to give, prepare for, give something to others in, in sharing that peace and that joy that's yours. The Bible says over in uh, Isaiah, in the 61st chapter, Comfort those that mourn. Give them beauty for ashes. There are people that are looking at life and they're looking at ashes. seems like the fire of providence has burned out everything good in their life. And they have nothing left but ashes. But go to them and give them beauty for ashes. Give them the oil of joy for mourning. Those who are mourning over loved ones that have passed. Those who are mourning over their physical condition. Those who are mourning over problems in their life. The Bible says, comfort those that are mourning. Comfort them. Give them the oil of gladness for heaviness and the spirit of praise for the garments of, uh, of, uh, of heaviness. Give them a spirit of praise. Learn to praise God and get them to praising God even in their troubles. To praise the Lord because He's good and His mercy endures forever. To praise the Lord because he's going to bring us through every trouble and trial and give us light at the end of the journey. Hallelujah. And he'll be with us in the journey. 
I praise God for the peace that God gives. And He gives that peace to all who believe in Him. Over again in the book of uh, Psalms, it teaches us to wait on the Lord. You're waiting on the Lord, dear Christian. You're praying about something that hadn't happened yet. Learn to wait on the Lord. The Bible says in Psalm uh, 20, uh, Psalm uh, 30, 30, I'll get it right in a minute, Psalm 27, he says, Wait on the Lord, and he will strengthen your heart. Wait on the Lord and hope in his word. Get a promise of the word and hold on to it. And let God be your hope and help. And let him be your strength. And he will guide you in it. Oh, praise God. Believe in the Lord Jesus. All things are possible to him that believes. And God will answer the right way. And he'll answer at the right time. I thank God for that. I am grateful for it. Oh, praise the Lord. Over in the book of Hebrews in the 13th chapter. It's a good verse here that tells us that that we're to, to work to the Lord and offer to God a sacrifice of, of thanksgiving. The sacrifice of praise. That is the giving of thanks for you know, our lips. Uh, giving thanks to His blessings. Offer to the Lord a sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving. Learn to say, thank you, dear God. Thank you, dear God, even when you're standing in the middle of a problem. Thank you, dear God, you're bringing me through it and you're bringing me out. Some way, somehow, I know it's going to work out. And I'm trusting God and He'll help me. And so it is that God brings us in. And God brings us out. Over in the book of Ephesians, in the fifth chapter, it says that this is important. It says that, uh, do not be drunk with wine which is in excess but be filled with the Spirit and so we need to be filled with the Holy Spirit and the Bible says that, uh, that God will fill us if we ask Him how much more will the Father give the Holy Spirit to them that ask Him we need to pray God fill us I'm, f I'm praying right now for you dear people that are listening that the Lord God will fill you with the Holy Spirit and give you peace and power with God and men and then he said, Oh, praise the Lord. Learn then to sing and praise God in hymns and spiritual psalms, singing with melody in your heart to the Lord. So learn to sing. Amen. The Bible says again, I will, I will, The Lord is my strength and my song, and I will, Oh God, know that He's my salvation. The Lord is my strength and my song. I like to sing, don't you? I like to praise God. And the way to be holy is, is to seek God's word and his will and stay close to Jesus. And the way to be holy is to read his word and depend upon the scriptures and thank God. Holiness leads to happiness. Be holy and be happy. Amen. Oh, praise the Lord. If you haven't prayed, ask God to forgive you and come in your heart. Just say, dear God, please forgive me. I believe in Jesus. I believe he died for me and rose again. I'm asking you to come in my heart and help me live for you. Oh, praise God. Believe. Pray a prayer, something like that. And know God loves you and the Lord's with you and he'll never, ever leave you. Amen. Learn to sing and learn to make friends with God's people. Learn to spend time with Christians as much as you can. Learn to read the Word of God. It'll help you as you read and understand. And, oh God, stay as close to Jesus as you can through prayer. These things will help you to be holy. And holiness is the way to happiness. Amen. And learn to sing. Take time to be holy. Oh, trust ever the Lord. Abide in Him always. And feed on his word. Make friends of God's children. Help those who are weak. Forgetting in nothing his blessings to see. Take time to be holy. The world rushes on. Spend much time in secret with Jesus alone. 
Oh, take time to be holy. Oh, speak off with our Lord. Always abiding in trusting in His Word. Oh, praise God. Take time to be holy. And the Lord will lead you and guide you and direct your life. God bless you, dear friend. Find your good church. Oh, that's a good way to be holy is to love God and love His people and worship God with His people. In the name of Jesus, praise God. I'm praying for you. God loves you. Pray for me. In the name above every name. Amen and amen.